And in Byrathon, they compete in five different areas. So one being aquatics and ecology, one being forestry, soils um, and land use, wildlife, and then a current issue that is always um, changing every year. And then at state, they also have to do an oral presentation as well. And that typically aligns with the current issue as well. Play Center has been very successful in the past, um, winning regionals and then also winning state. And by winning state, then we have had the ability to go on and compete at nationals. I know my first year here, they had the ability to go to Maryland and compete. And then they went to Idaho, but we did get to compete um, with FFA on the FFA side in environmental and natural resources at the CDE um, that was hosted during National Convention last week. Is Environathon competitive? Yes. Um, several of the students who have had the opportunity to go to nationals before um, have met students from across the United States and Canada and even China. And there are some schools out there, not necessarily in the state of Kansas, where they structure their science classes strictly around the Envirothon competition to make sure that they are very highly competitive on a national level. How many meets do you have throughout the year? For sure we will have two with the hope that we would have um, a third one and that being nationals. This summer of 2020 it will be in Nebraska so it's a very short car ride for us um, if we end up winning. And then the year following that, um, if we were to win state, we would have the ability to travel to Canada to compete, which is really exciting. And I'm hoping that students are getting excited for that opportunity. Mm -hmm.